they said the rally criterion is not fundamental. So it's like Jack Sparrow mm. being like, it's more like guidelines, <laughs> right? Like not. I was like, what are you talking, what are you about? talking about? Right? The idea is like, th there. Previously, this was viewed as a fundamental limitation. Yeah. At a physics level. At a physics level. So the goal is always higher angular resolution. The epitome of that is the Event Horizon Telescope, which gave us that beautiful view of the black hole in M eighty six, which is a far, far away galaxy. You're looking at a thing that's about the size of a solar system, but it's millions of light years away, right? It's insane. It's, it's not that, close. Okay, there is a limit when it comes to the resolution that you can have with light. Okay. It's called the Rayleigh limit. If you've got two points of light that are really close together as they are on the right-hand side, yes. then they're gonna look like one point of light. On the other hand, if I have two points that are a little bit farther apart, then I can resolve them because they're Gaussian peaks, mm -hmm. they don't overlap enough, I can resolve the two as separate as things. separate things. Right? Yes. And how far away they can be in terms of angle is determined by something called the Rayleigh Criterion. It's a ratio between the wavelength mm -hmm. and the diameter, okay? The bigger the wavelength, the larger this angle has to be. Right. Also, the larger the diameter of your lens, the smaller you can resolve. Yes. Right? That yes. makes sense. That's why we have big telescopes. Like, right, right, right. I thought the Rayleigh Criterion, I learned this in undergrad and I thought that was it. Yeah, right. Right. Then I started reading. So the Rayleigh criterion assumes the following. The only thing that you're sensitive to is the intensity of the light. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. You've got a telescope. You've got a CCD in the back. The telescope creates an image. The CCD then tells how much intensity of light is coming from this direction, this direction. Mm -hmm. But light is an electromagnetic wave. And there is phase information. Okay. Right? right. At some point, it's going to be up. At some point, it's going to be down this right. way. Right? Right. There's a phase, there's a timing yes. that the light is coming through. And yes. if you can extract the timing, then you have both parts of the wave. You have the amplitude, which is the intensity, which yes. you already had. Yes. And you also have the timing in which that wave yes. packet came in. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Creating much more information out of that single... Existing <laughs> system that's already there. Yes. It, which is like a key yes, idea yes. They're, here. they're adding another little piece of equipment. Instead of the CCD, they have this thing to capture all of this additional information. So th this star specifically, Ancanis Minoris, Beta CMI, it's 162 light years away. It's surrounded by a gas of hydrogen. There you can see the gas cloud and you can see the clear Doppler. Yes, red-blue shift. Red-blue shift, right? Between yes. the part that's coming away from us and the part that's coming towards us. And that scale bar is one micro arc second arc second Jeez. right and i told you before that it used to be 20 yeah. now you've resolved stuff to to, to that to, to one right? this is this is unbelievable. so it's it's i think it's it's a new dawn of like you know higher than rally resolution yeah yeah which is i mean i think it's gonna be really really cool